What's up everybody, do right back at it again with another video. So a long time ago, there was a developer that came to me asking me to cover something that's not something that I would usually cover on the channel, but he felt that it was important that I should talk about it because it was something that affected their entire community. I made a video called SCP Extortion that basically talked about how one man could destroy an entire community, and it's still an issue that's going on today. I have a link to that video if you want to check it out, but the reason why I'm bringing that up is because at the time of him asking me to do this, he also asked if I could ever cover his game whenever it comes out and i said sure and the other day they actually sent me a copy of a very 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 early build it's a prototype i believe so what i'm gonna do is show off single player gameplay just like give you a bit of a snippet run and then we'll talk a bit about their kickstarter afterwards so be sure to like up the video comment down below subscribe if you're new and ding that bell and uh, let's get into it You have a flashlight? No flashlight, huh? Oh man, I'm playing this by myself. This is not gonna be fun. Can't see shit. I don't know what the freaking flashlight button is. Do I break my leg if I fall off of this? Okay, I can't open that door. Alright. Looks like we've got some sort of, uh... Underwater thing here. I can't see shit, by the way. Oh, this is already bad. I think that's a door right there. There's another door right there. Looks like I might need some sort of key card. Then we got a forklift. Can I do anything with this or no? No? Okay. Alright, looks like the only way forward is over here, I guess. Can I, like, pick up this light and just, like, toss it everywhere? F to interact. Mmm. <laughs> Nothing's gonna pop up behind me, right? Nothing's up here, right? I can't see sh I'm screwed if something decides to come after me. I can't see anything. I'm assuming that thing on the right, right there, is my health bar. It looks like I got about 15 shots in four mags. Just got our first glimpse at the bad guys. I don't know if I, oh, I only got one bullet. Okay, so it looks like the mags don't like add on to the next mag there. So once you reload it, that's it. So I should probably use my ammo sparingly. Looks like it takes about three pistol shots to take them down. This looks like it goes nowhere. What the hell is the flashlight button? Hello? We got bathrooms. Which I'm guessing are small bathrooms because they're showing like two different things here. Can they open doors? I hope not. I'm hearing some more. I hope I get another gun or at least more ammo. Oh, can it see me? Offices. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, so it looks like they can't open doors just yet. But I don't want to test it. Oh, maybe not. I was like, I thought I heard something. Shit, 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 shit. I'm gonna need some more ammo. Eight bullets in the chamber. Oh my god, run, run, run. Oh my god, I got hurt pretty freaking bad there. What's this? Oh. Can't I take both of them? Oh, what does this do? Is it just... Okay, so I just got myself a different weapon now. Uh, I got a Glock that seems to have more more ammo. Um, can I heal myself at all? Information for recruits. Do not share the code with anyone. Report all suspicious activity. Do not listen to the voices. Do not negotiate with the voices. Access code is 6705. Okay, gotta remember that. Okay, so I got my first new weapon here, and it looks like there's actually more ammo than there was in the previous one. How much did I have in the previous one? It was like 15, right? I think. I hate how I don't have a flashlight. Or if I do, I just don't even know it. Oh. Okay. The lighting's a little creepy, but I mean... Having light where I can see is better than no light, I guess, right? So I'm assuming this is where they came from. 
Oh. Seeing our first uh, guy here. Is this the same weapon? Okay, this is the same Glock. What is this? 6705. Okay. Can I grab me one of those? No? Do you have any medical packs on you, buddy? Ooh, medical stuff. What is this? They really want me to know this code. Medical? Ooh, what is this? Haha! -ha! I hope things don't spawn behind me, because that'd be awkward. Okay. What was it? 6705. 8675309. Looks like somebody mopped the floor there. Get to the checkpoint, lift the uh, sector lockdown, start the backup generator, generator in the fuse box. Got it, boss. Can I ha get in here? Nope, don't have access. Okay, backup generator room. Okay. Can't get in there. Alright, so it looks like the only way forward is either through there or... Alright, down into the depths we go, I guess. Oh, I do have a flashlight. What the sh**? Gee, okay. Is it wherever my pistol is facing, or is it like attached to my head? That would be nice to know. And can the can the bad guys actually see? Okay, this is this is interesting. Can I open these lockers? No. Okay. All right, something's gonna pop up out of these fucking waters. I could already feel it. Really, nothing. I'm shocked. Hello? I hear something. Yeah, they sound like they're in there. What is this? Emissions recycling operation suspended. Carbon dioxide output oxygen liquefied. Conduit pressure 0.0, .0 bar. Recondenser offline storage venting. I think that's what it says. Area 12, backup generators. Hello? That sounds really close. It sounds like he's above me, actually. What's this? Oh, this doesn't look safe. The moment I activate this shit, everything's gonna go fucking nuts. I can already feel it in my bones. Refuel the natural- oh, of course I gotta fucking refuel it. We gotta turn on the power! But the power requires fuel! Hello? Can I shoot through this? Nope, okay. It takes around like three to four shots to take these things down, it seems. Nope. Oh, is this, uh... Oh my god, let's get the crap out of me. Um... Well, there's a gun here. A sniper? Inside of a, a facility like this? I mean, is it an insta-kill? I mean, that would be nice. Alright, um, so so far the gunplay is not bad, could definitely use some more refinement, but I mean, it's, it'll, it gets the job done. Uh, okay, so I'm looking for refuel the natural gas depot. Okay, how am I gonna do that? This maybe? Uh. I thought he was gonna be behind this door, not right frickin' there. I didn't even see him there. Oh no 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 Zombies has taught me well. <laughs> ah. 
Oh wait, they limp? That's interesting. Oh my goodness. That could have gone a lot worse. Now why would I come over here? Natural gas depot, there we go. I've got a bad feeling about this. The one hidden up basically. Oh, f uh, damn. Do I at least get a checkpoint? No, never mind. Oh, way back here. Oh, damn. <clears throat> okay, we are back. It's been a bit of a bitch to actually get to this point, so hopefully, I don't mess this part up. I just lost a lot of health with that. Now the question is, will they spawn over here and come after me? I'm not hearing them. Restart the generator at the fuse box. Okay, I think it's this thing that's up here, right? Sweet. Alright, before I do that though, I want to go grab some health. Alright. I went through this like three times and I realized that you can only use this once, so that kind of sucks, but I mean. Ooh, what is this? Hello? Is this it? Oh, this is it. Okay. I have a bad feeling about this, but okay. Alright, what the hell is that supposed to be? Little baby cribs? Okay, we're here. We came in from the sewer generator. Okay, this is a really big map. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get through all of this because I hear that um, you need like a team to go through this, but I'm going to see if I can try to do it by myself. No promises, especially if there's no freaking checkpoints. I'm not doing this if there's no freaking checkpoints. Extract files from server room. Find documents that may reveal your informant. Okay. Oh my goodness. Uh, this could be an issue. Should I start picking them off now? Would that be ideal? Like, I'm afraid to start picking them off because they could come up here and screw me up. Um, I wonder who did that. <gasps> oh my fucking god, you dog, stop. Dog scared the living shit out of me. Jumped on my freaking leg right here. Scared the shit out of me. Uh, she's like a puppy that just learned how to get up the stairs, and I like to leave my door open because, like, the wind like comes through the hallway and hits me in the face, and it feels so nice. But like now, she comes up here, and I don't even realize it. Like, I have to make sure she's not biting on the wires or anything like that. Ooh, what is this? Another weapon? Is this better? Uh, it looks about the same, but I'd say the iron sights are a bit a bit better. All right, we're well, moving up in the world. Um, all right. Well. I don't know if this game has checkpoints, which really sucks if it doesn't. Hello? Ooh, nice shot. So I have to get to the server rooms to extract files. Okay, this map needs to be better understood, because I'm not following it that well. What the hell? Hey, buddy. How you doing? Are they supposed to fly like that? I think that's a glitch. I hope that's a glitch. Like, what is this supposed to be? A highway? I mean, I get it's a facility, but like... Eight bullets. Try to use them sparingly here. Uh, any day, any day, any day, any day, any day, any day. Yeah, 
Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. I could use some ammo, but I mean, whoa, where the frack did you come from? I have exactly 16 bullets and two mags left. Okay, this is the servers, I assume. Yeah, servers, alright. This looks like where I need to be. Hello. Don't mind me. Can I close this? Keep that closed for the time being. What's this? Security post. Ooh, that might have ammo. <laughs> no, damn it. So this is definitely a game where I'm gonna need a team to finish the game. They said that it is possible to do it solo, but that it's really impossible. Unless you're just that good. But yeah, I definitely tried to do it solo. If there was checkpoints in the game, then yeah, I'd definitely do a lot more, but unfortunately, that just doesn't exist. I mean, there is like a, a respawning system if you have a group, but if you're by yourself, then you're basically screwed. Until they add in like some sort of checkpoint feature or something. But uh, yeah, let's take a look at their Kickstarter really quick. It seems as if they're asking for about 80000 within the next 30 days, and uh, I mean, that's quite a bit of money. Will they be able to pull it off? I don't know. I'll definitely send about $20 their way towards the end of the month because uh, I would like to see this game come to fruition. Seems like a really cool co-op game that I could play with my buddies. From what I understand, the story has to do with SCP-5000, which I've never heard of. If somebody would like to give me a rundown on what SCP-5000 is, that'd be awesome. They're going to be adding in a bunch of new SCPs to the game. They've got SCP-173-B, SCP-173-C. Look at these creepy looking things. They got a Psy-Z Infector, a Psy-Z Resonator, Psy-Z Devastator and uh, SCP-098. I don't know what these things are. Like, these are like the special enemies, obviously. But like, I don't know to what extent what they do exactly. But they look creepy as hell. I wouldn't want those fucking things shambling at me. I'll gun them down as fast as possible. But yeah, when it comes to fundraisers, I'm really hesitant to actually support something because generally they don't always work out or they're usually associated with scams. But I mean, these guys, they definitely have put a lot of work into the game and I can definitely feel that they have. The game so far feels solid. But I could use a little more polishing, a little more time in the oven, if you know what I'm saying. I hope that they actually get enough funding to, you know, continue to work on this game. Because it was a lot of fun. And, uh, yeah. I'll put a link to their Kickstarter in the description if you want to take a look. And I want to say good luck to your project. Hope you guys, uh, get where you want to be. And with that all being said, I'll thank everybody for coming out to watch. Be sure to like up the video, subscribe if you're new, support the channel, and, uh, yeah. See you around.